after the uproar by Nigerians that Buhari left without putting Osibanjo in charge, he makes a statement before leaving for the UK. Hello, my wonderful people. Uh, President Buhari is not in the country as we speak. Buhari has traveled to the UK again for medical attention. I mean, by now it's no longer a news because um, we all know that the man is not, uh, we don't know the nature of his ailment, but again and again he goes to the UK for medical checkup. Yes, and um, this is the kind of thing that we are looking out and, you know, we are particularly, you know, we, we, we didn't know that um, this man probably was sickly or whatever the ailment was. He was he's never around. I mean, he's never, um, he's, he's always here and again um, in the UK and um, this has affected his ability to lead. Besides, even when he's around, it doesn't make much of a difference anyway. So too bad he has now finally made a statement with regards to who is in charge. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Thank you. Osipanjo to be in charge. Why I am away, Buhari. President Muhammad Buhari, after Nigerians' uproar that he left without proper handover, said Professor Yemi Osibanjo will be assisted by the Secretary of the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, and the Chief of Staff. President Muhammad Buhari has said the Vice President Professor Yemi Osibanjo will be in charge of the governance of the country as he departs for London on Sunday. President Buhari disclosed this while speaking to State House correspondent shortly before his trip to the UK for a medical checkup after Nigerians have made an uproar that he was he left without proper handover, which is constitutional. President Muhammad Buhari and President Muhammad Buhari and Osibanjo will be Mr. President Mohamed Buhari said Osibanjo will be assisted by the Secretary of State of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, and Chief of Staff. As at the time of the filing, there is no indication that the President sent a letter to Senate indicating the transfer of power to the Vice President in his absence out of the country, which is a constitutional thing to do. A formal letter is supposed to be sent to the Senate handing over formally to the vice president wise is away buhari has done nothing of such just having a periphery meeting the president said his absence from the country would not affect the running of government he said well i cannot claim to be doing the work alone the government is fully represented the vice president is here constitutionally i'm away he's in charge and the secretary of, gov of the government and the, and the chief of staff said are also to support him. The president has initially planned to leave Kenya directly for the United Kingdom after attending the UNEP program, but made, an, but made a return to the country before eventually departing Abuja for London on Sunday. The pain crisis has continued with the president left for his medical attention to Kenya, which it was to go to UK, and Nigerians were in all proud that he did not perform his constitutional duty like he should, handing over to the vice president formally and properly. So after Nigerians have said the president did not do the right thing, he was supposed to have handed over to the vice president before leaving. He's finally um, decided to do the right thing by coming on board and um, ensuring that he hands over. Now, this handover is not even done properly, decently and in order. Now, there are protocols when you get into government, how sh things should be done. However, none of the protocols have seen, has been observed. It's a shame because most of the people you thought are government officials and should know better do not really care to give deliverance of governance. As a matter of fact, they are filled in their very fundamental number one duty, which is protection of lives and property. As a matter of fact, today, everybody just live their life as though there's, you know, just leave it trusting that God will help them see through to the next day. Yes, however, you know, the government has totally eradicated their, their own duty. 
okay, their own call for the metal duty to ensure that they use every resource within their capacity and power to be able to bring about leadership to the country and to the nation. None of such has been done, you know, so it very clearly shows that we have no leadership. Okay, we have no leadership. As a matter of fact, the president, you know, is just marking time, watching on on when he's to leave office. And so whatever happens is just taking the time and just being the president of the country, going from one day to the other without paying attention that there is life to be lived every single day. And that whatever decision that is being made or not being made is, effect, is directly or indirectly affecting the people. And that's why, you know, we have another chance to pick a reliable and competent government. But we should never pick the same people again who keep repackaging themselves to us. Okay, when they say something is refurbished, it's because that thing is old. That thing is something that has been used before. It's not brand new. It's not got the same uh, qualitative uh, life that it should, you know, potential. But guess what? They rebrand it and they bring it over to you again, repolish it. Again, the shelf life has been reduced because the true propensity and tenacity for it to be able to, uh, you know, be, 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 be for it to truly, you know, work has been cut short because it has spent some valuable, meaningful time at some other, you know, places. But guess what? What we get, what we have today is the, is the, is the same thing. If, even if it's refurbished, that was even better. There is no refurbishment in this. And what we get is the same people repackaging themselves at us and coming to tell us that, you know, they want to lead, they want to do A, B, C, D, Z. So you can tell, you can see for yourself that there is no true are you tough leadership? You are handing over to a Sibanjo and you are not informing the Senate. You're doing things the way you want to do them. You know, these are these are very sad reality of our day and time. And the truth of the matter is we must never pick such a government, never again. Never again. That's the only way we can truly make uh, you know meaningful impact and change. Other than that, there is nothing we can call Nigeria. Okay? As a matter of fact, Olusegwa Basanjo has said, if nothing is done, there may be no Nigeria. Leave us a comment. We'd we'll love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a lovely and a fantastic day from us. It's bye for now. Have a good day. Bye.